we've been able to leverage automation to its fullest to our advantage and ultimately to our customers' advantage. And I think of the customers, I can only imagine the benefits for them are, are just amazing. I think the challenge that most of our customers face is to what level do they employ automation technology? To what level do they need to connect what's happening on the plant floor to what's happening in their information technology and even enterprise level management world? As far as Rockwell Automation is concerned, there's 20 plants uh, that, that produce over 387,000 SKUs that are build to stock. That doesn't include engineer to order or configure to order products. And in total, we had a variety of plants located in every region of the world that to varying degrees was connected, but it, it more so was disconnected. We realized that we needed a total restructuring of our supply chain. So we went about this with a very coordinated plan. From an MES standpoint, we wanted to have one graphical user interface. We, we did not want anybody to go and log into any other system. We needed to be able to provide information and gather information from those systems. And Rockwell Automation tries to connect what's happening at the machine and the shop floor level to the enterprise level, and that's what we call the connected enterprise. So our journey with the connected enterprise really started back in 2008, when we started this location in Rockwell Automation Monterey. Before connected enterprise, um, everything is very manual. Getting information is very, very difficult. Now with Connected Enterprise, everything is readily available at your fingertip. All of those good quality tools like Go No Go, Check to Checks, all of those things can be automated. This is where Connected Enterprise comes in. It's systems that you barcode, automatic conveyors, scanning, touch screens, that are all interconnected. We connected our quality checks so we are able to run quality reports live. That's what's great about this. I don't have to wait for the next day to get a quality report. In manufacturing, you need to see things on a, an hourly, minute by minute basis. You have to know what's going on, how much material you have, what's the quality level, how much labor did I put into something, am I gonna have something completed? We are able to receive the right data at the right time to be able to make smarter and faster decisions. What does that mean? Better containment, better quality checks, better quality controls. So things always ship out the door with perfect quality. That connected enterprise, the way it helps my role as operations manager, it's, it gives me the confidence to know that all the processes are being followed as, as the processes were designed. Having the confidence that the connected enterprise is taking care of all the day-to-day -day operation and when something gets out of the normal, we are informed and we can react really fast. When you implement the connected enterprise, the type of decisions that you're going to be able to make are a big difference from day to night. We are able not just to see our data live, we're able to see our sister's plant's data as well for those particular processes that we're looking at. That is important because we're able to learn from each other. We don't have to solve a problem twice. You can pull the report, you can understand our KPI, you can understand our WIP, you can understand our scheduling in the future, also understanding our past history, how we perform so far. So all this information is available and you can easily analyze everything very quickly, uh, giving us opportunity to find a good project, what additional improvement and area we should pursue. In the very beginning, uh, I think the, the employees were like, prove to me this is going to be better, okay? Um, and over time, now I don't think they can live without it. Our associates uh, love this journey and love this process because what was previously very manually intensive is now done in a highly automated fashion where they're using barcode technology and scanners, inventory going from 120 days across our corporation to 79 days. The quality of our processes being reduced from a parts per million defect rate by 50%. Supplier availability and on-time delivery going from the mid 80s to 96%. And all of those measures together, if you will, allow us to drive annually 
4 to 5% of productivity. We've been able to reduce our capital expenditures by about 30%. We have complete track and trace capabilities uh, on our product that goes out to the customer. We didn't engage in a total restructuring of our supply chain for the fun of it. Trust me, there were days that were anything but fun. They were long, they were arduous. As I mentioned, we encountered issues. The people, the process, the technology constraints and hurdles that we had to contend with figure out and, and, and overcome. We've learned a lot throughout the years. Now we're at a point where we can share what we've learned with our own customers. The end result for us and we believe for our customers is improved quality, delivery, and productivity. It can offer step function levels, unprecedented levels of productivity, of quality, of gaining competitive advantage from a differentiation standpoint. Five, 10, 15 years from now, the industry is moving towards this. It is that convergence of the operations technology environment that our plants operate in to that information technology world that they also operate in. Whether it's at the executive information level, at the ERP level, the ability to take the information that is being developed on the shop floor and make sense of it. This is the future of our company.